Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. More summer heat information, and it looks like we're getting So I wanna talk about what this loading screen means, all the little aspects of it, because there's a lot of little hints as a part of this loading screen. I wanna talk about it and what we could see tomorrow when we finally, when the questioning and when the guessing is over with and done and we actually figure out what this summer heat promo is going to look like. There were some leaks, People said they have some leaks, so we'll talk about that a little bit today as well. But it's starting to look like this promo is not actually kind of like footies. We've been all over the place, right? I've said, yes, it looks like footies. I've said, no, it doesn't kind of look like footies. I was really strong set on this promo looking a lot like footies, but I'm not entirely sure if that's how it's going to run now based off what I see today with this promo screen. So today, this is the promo screen they put out with the car design with a flame. Two different flames though, one that's like white and at the forefront and one that is kind of darker and like, um, I don't know, subtle, that is kind of at the back of the card. So we now have four different cards. If you remember correctly, we've got this version right here. We've got the, the white flame, the dark flame, and then like the gold rare version or the basic version of this car design. So that's the first thing I wanna talk about. What does this really mean? What this reminds me of up here is with the fire and with the kind of lower tier fire, this this kind of reminds me of like a, a Foot Future Stars Academy card or like a premium SBC versus a non-premium. Like we got the David Silva SBC earlier this week with a lower rated version and a premium version. So maybe that's the difference between, you know, the premium is the fire and the regular is the, the subtle fire. That's just a guess. We really don't know yet. That's just kind of what I'm thinking, at least at the moment. But it does kind of look similar to what we saw with the Daniel James. So now I know you have like the flat, the the ratings. You can see like we have this little design up here at the top with the arrows pointing to the right, kind of saying that this card is going to continue to get upgraded. Uh, we don't have a lot of like icons or um, themes on the top of a card like this. Like if you look at a lot of the cards in FIFA Ultimate Team, uh, especially a lot of the cards that we are using right now in this game, a lot of them don't have, except for like these flashback cards that are, you know, obviously are pointing back to a point in time or like the Foot Champions logo on this, this uh, Ter Stegen. But you can see that the flashback cards and the player moments are the ones that kind of have like that little icon logo on the top. So this is a new icon slash logo thing that we are seeing with uh, the, the fire and the heat emoji right here. But that seriously kind of conveys again maybe like you know two different two different cards that you could possibly upgrade to so that is really really interesting that we have basically four different card designs now on the loading screen that they have given us and then we have this little hint down here in the corner which is very very interesting a lot of people have been making jokes about this on twitter today because it looks like a couple different things the first thing that it kind of looks like and this is what makes it funny is that it almost looks like you're giving it almost looks like a hand that is giving a credit card to EA, which is really funny because of course, EA likes to get the money off this game. EA is all about the money and we know that. Uh, so maybe they're saying, hey, this is gonna be a money grab promo. I doubt that's what they're actually getting at. But the more uh, realistic and uh, more likely thing that this could mean here is that there's some sort of voting involved because it also looks like it's a hand that is putting in a voting ballot uh, like into a basket or into like some sort of box uh, it's like a voting card per se. So that is what this also could mean. So something related to like voting, two different versions of an upgraded card. And then of course today on Twitter as well, there were some people talking about objective cards and um, basically, specifically, uh, Furland Mendy was the kind of leak. This is the leak that I mentioned earlier in the video that was talked about today on Twitter. Basically, Furland Mendy's footmas card is the leaked card, the leaked you know, part of this promo that people are saying is going to happen and kind of describing what's going to happen with this promo. So what they said is basically what's going to happen is there's going to be an objective for the footmas for Len Mendy, which makes sense. If you think back to that other loading screen we had on Sunday, there was a, there were four different types of SBCs and one of them was footmas. So, uh, this kind of theory kind of plays together with that loading screen. But what they said was the footmas for Len Mendy is going to return to objectives. It's going to be very, very easy to get if you don't have them already. And what you're going to be able to do with that card is similar to the Foot Future Stars Academy. You're going to be able to complete objectives inside of Foot, 
and upgrade that card to basically an even higher version. So it's basically you're going to do objectives to get a version higher than the card you already had in your club, which sounds like a decent idea. But let's talk about that a little bit, because if that is actually what's going to happen, and that's how this promo is going to run, uh, that means we have to play the game. That means we have to play the game, and EA has not been going super duper easy on the really, really good objective cards that we've got this year. Like, think about Idrissa Gay was one of the best objective rewards that we've had. It was decently easy to do, but a lot of these require scoring in rivals, and especially at this point of the game, a lot of the content that is in foot right now uh, doesn't really lend itself to people wanting to play the game because, of course, TOTS rewards are in this week's set, but there's no guarantee that Team of the Seasons are going to be in for Champions rewards uh, throughout the rest of this year based on what EA said earlier. So really, what if you do go out and get this objective card, what gain do you get from this? Like, what are you going to use this card for? I know the rewards inside of foot still say TOTS SF, but yes, it's cool to upgrade cards. Yes, it's cool to have, you know, if they're going to be upgrading these cards, like again, back to that Furland Mendy, uh, if, we, if we talk about that card for a second, like if we look at his Footmas card, if I go to my club and search for Furland Mendy's Footmas card really fast, let me do this and show you guys this. Um, because if they're going to be boosting these cards, the, the leak that people said they had was boosting this Furland Mendy card. He would get a Summer Heat promo card once you use this card to upgrade him that this guy would be a 93 rated left back. Now that's awesome because again, I tweeted out today, I said, hey, if this promo is gonna be giving us new cards, they have to be high rated because we've already had team of the season, which has just increased the expectations for cards in this game immensely. They have to be high rated. You have to upgrade the stats in, in, in areas that matter. And it's gotta be just good value, especially at this point of the game, because if this if this, this Furland Mindy card requires you to go out and spend hours doing the objective and grinding this card, you can just go out on the game and buy another left back that is, you know, maybe not quite the caliber of that Furland Mendy, but instead of, you know, spending seven or eight hours trying to grind for that new 93 rated Furland Mendy, you can go buy yourself like the 93 Teo Hernandez for like, what, 300,000 coins or something like that. So that's the one thing you just, at this stage of the game, if this promo is all about grinding objectives and grinding gameplay to get cards that we're going to use in the game, what, you know, percentage of people are still going to be playing this game for foot champions, which is, you know, if you're playing FIFA, man, to be honest, you're playing foot champions on the weekend because you want the rewards. And that's like the competitive scene that everybody goes for because the rewards are the best. And it's just kind of what EA caters this game to on the weekends. So... That's kind of the whole draw for gameplay at the moment. There's not a lot of people that at this stage of the game just, you know, maybe some people want to have fun with their teams and try them out and use the cards they got during team of the season and stuff. But at this point of the game, there's just not as much to grind for. And if they're giving us content with these new cards right here that we actually have to go and grind for, what is there to do with these cards after we grind for them? It's more of just like a club collecting thing like a panini, you know, for the club collection at the end of the day, that's almost what this seems like this is for. So that part I'm a little unsure about. If they don't put TOTS rewards back in, then honestly grinding this would kind of be worthless to some people in FIFA. Uh, but there's probably going to be some really cool cards you'll be able to get from this. And of course, when people see cool colors, when they see the pixels get updated, as some people call it on this game, they go bananas for it and they go crazy for it. So that's what I'm really, really, really intrigued to see with this promo and could it still be footies i mean there still could be a footies draw into it if this really does uh signal that we're getting some sort of voting system alongside with this so still a lot of unknowns but the fact that we have these two cards that were dropped today really really interests me we're probably going to figure out more about those today uh on fifa ultimate team with probably another loading screen coming out because they've been doing a loading screen every single day which is interesting to say the least but it is what it is. I also want to talk about the other stuff that is going on in this game. We didn't get any content today. That loading screen that I just showed you was literally our only content. So you got three days left on David Silva if you want to do him. And then one day, 14 hours on Adariz if you want to do that card as well. Looking across the rest of the market, what happened today? Well, if you think about it from this standpoint, since there was really no content today, what do you expect to happen? I would expect, uh, because people are still semi-engaged in this game, the market would rise, and that is exactly what happened. Last night, Marquinhos was 200,000 coins. He's now 225. Ronaldo was 550. He's 570. 
Alwar was, I think, like 260, 250. He's 275. Uh, and Di Maria is up as well. Some of these Ultimate Tots cards are inflated too. They, they actually went up a little bit today. Again, if you want to buy any of these, I think you still ones. You buy them on Thursday when they're going to get supplied even more. Ronaldo's up 200,000 coins. Uh, Van Dyke is up. Benzema's up like 30K. De Bruyne is up. I think Ben Yedder's up even a little bit. So for all of these guys, I would seriously wait until Thursday with the new set of weekly rewards. SBC fodder is slowly starting to drop. It's still inflated. 85s are down a little, 84s are down like a thousand coins a card, just as people are not doing the SBCs as much, but there's not really any supply for the fodder coming onto the market. So since this promo, if the leaks are true, like about the Furland Mendy situation, if the leaks are true, then that means uh, there won't be too much SBC stuff going on, uh, unless that's another different part of the promo that we're going to see if there's going to be re-releases of stuff. We shall see. But uh, there was no daily SBC today. I know there's a uh, Twitch Rivals event going on right now um, on Twitch.tv where there's uh, streamers and pro players that are playing in some like pro clubs tournament. I watched it a little bit today and there's actually live engagement rewards. So of course you could take your chance, go sit in the live stream and see if you can get yourself one of the rewards, which is definitely not very likely. But uh, I was expecting maybe an SBC, you know, in game because of that. EA likes to... Uh, hype up their own pro events and hype up their own um, events that they are having run on their game that uh, you know they, they sometimes like to hype those up with some sort of in-game SBC we didn't see any of that today could we see any of that on Tuesday actually today uh, it's a possibility but again I'm just really not sure how this SBC fodder would be continue to drop because right now there's just no supply for those cards on the market. I think they're putting the promo packs in the store and some people have been asking on Twitter like, yo, why are they still trying to suck coins off this game? Wow, they didn't have any promo packs. Interesting. Um, but usually during the second half of the year, there's always promo packs in the store just because EA is trying to grab, you know, every little bit that they possibly can uh, out of this game and trying to make some money off of it. But yeah, boys, that's kind of the information that I have. It's not a super duper long video today. It really isn't. Um, but that's kind of the information that I have about this promo with the summer heat promotion incoming. There's really not a lot to talk about today because, um, the market's going up a little bit. If you want to, if there's cards that you still want to buy, I mean, some of the out of pack stuff, I still would have bought. I think I would have bought it last night, Sunday into Monday. Cause that was when weekend league sell-off was the strongest. Uh, but again, if, if a card like Furland Mendy comes, we could talk about this for a second. If a Furlan Mendy card would come out, that would be probably the best French left back in the game. And it's just, again, kind of one of the trading methods that we've used all year in foot, kind of trading around the um, like the substitute trading method uh, or when substitute cards come onto the market. So we have this Teo Hernandez team of the season is another French left back, arguably the best French left back in the game, 370,000 coins for this card. Now, if they bring out a Furland Mendy, who I think people would prefer over this card with his four-star skills and a five-star weak foot, then you you would definitely see this card drop in price, especially considering that Furland Mendy, if it's available from objectives, would be quote-unquote free. So that's the kind of stuff you could be seeing. You could get you could get burned, I guess you could say, uh, depending on what cards do come out. Like I think Tellez is now finally on the market, like 500,000 coins. He's not extinct anymore. Um, but if a Furland Mendy was to come out, then absolutely I would expect this guy to drop in price because people could go sell this, get 500k or 450, whatever he drops to, and get an untradeable left back in the club from objectives that is very, very good as well. And just like when you see new cards come onto the market from objectives, you will see link investments rise. So that's going to be something that if you still want to trade during this time frame, quick movements, if you see leaks or if you see the player when it comes out right away and links to that card are not inflated. That is something you could look into as an investment. I think of right off the bat, if that Mendy does come, uh, Rafael Varane is going to be a card that a lot of people are going to look at. His team of the season card, I think, is still a bit expensive. So I don't know if I would really get into that one. But the one that I would be slightly interested in is possibly this headliner because this is only this is about 500K. How much is the Tots card? Is the Tots card about a mil? I'm kind of out to uh, out of date with this card's price. How much is the tots? Over a mil. Okay, so this card is definitely rising. So yeah, I think I would like the headliner Varan possibly um, as a link investment sort of thing. Maybe as we see this Furlan Mendy come out. Yo, how much is this Varan, man? How much is Varan? 
Varan is 1.25 million coins, 1.2 ish mil for this team of the season Varan card, you know, and uh, I would definitely like this headliner Varan as possibly a uh, a link investment or maybe some of the informs as a link investment to that Ferland Mendy. Of course, you could look at guys like team of the season Casemiro. You could look at like Ed and Hazard's maybe left sided cards and maybe, you know, maybe Ramos with with links there as well. You know, Ramos is up a little bit because of all the people that packed Carvajal Hall last week. But there are going to be some possible link investments you can make with some of these new promo cards that come out too. If there is hype. Again, it's all kind of dependent on if there is hype. So we shall see what happens with this promo. It's still a big time question mark. There's really not that much going on inside of FIFA until this promo drops on Wednesday. So it is what it is until then. But if you guys enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.